In this video, we'll continue and show you how to set up the network and configuration for hotel staffs. For instance, they will be restricted to access Facebook at certain times of the day. And you can also determine which staff will be the admin and allow to access the controller UI. Okay, so let's get started with the configuration. Like the setup for hotel guests, we'll start by creating a service zone for staffs. So log into the controller, click on system, then service zone. We can use service zone 2 and configure this for staffs. So click on service zone 2. Make sure it's enabled and then you can change the service zone name to staff. Then scroll down to authentication options. For staff, they will be using the local account database, which is an internal database that is used for long-term or permanent accounts. So click on default for the local database and deselect the rest. Now scroll back top. Make sure the authentication settings is enabled. You can also check if you need to change the IP address of the controller or configure the IP range of the DHCP server. After you've made sure everything is set, you can go down and click apply. Now we can move on to configure the staff group. So go to users and under groups, click on configuration. Since group 1 is still untaken, you can use this group for staffs. So select group 1 and change the name to staff. Then scroll down to zone permission configuration and policy assignment. For staff, we'll also allow them to access the guest network. So you can enable both these service zones and deselect the others. And note that staff will have policy 1 enforced on them. Go down and click apply. So let's configure the access policy for staff. Click on Policies, and then Policy Configuration. Make sure Policy 1 is selected and change the policy name to Staff. For Staff, you might want to limit them from accessing certain websites during work hours, such as Facebook. So we'll need to configure the firewall profile for this. So click on Firewall, and then click on the User Firewall Rules Configure button. Now you can add a firewall rule by clicking on Add. And for the rule name, you can change it to Block Facebook. For the source, we'll use IP address, and for destination or the site you want to block, you can change it to domain name and type in the site address like facebook.com. Then you can determine the time when you want this rule to take effect. For example, you can set it so the staffs are able to use Facebook on Mondays through Fridays during lunchtime and unable to access it during other times. So next to schedule, select recurring and click on Monday, Tuesday, for action, you'll select Pass, and then continue to click on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And for the time, you can select 12 to 2 p.m. Now click on Apply, and you'll be redirected back to the Firewall Rule page. Select the rule you've just created, and click on the Enable button. To avoid any confusion on who this rule will be applied to, go back and click on Firewall, and change the Firewall profile name to Staff, and then click Apply. So we're done with configuring the staff group. Now you can go ahead and create a staff account to test. So go to internal authentication, then local. Then click on the configure button and then the add button to add an account. So for username, you can just type in test and make sure the group is selected as staff and then click apply. So now you have a staff account created, which will be able to access the staff and guest service zone and be enforced with the Block Facebook Firewall policy. Besides this, you'll also want to determine the staff who has permission to access the controller. So to configure this, go to System, then General, and click on the Management IP Address Configure button. Under Management Service Zone List, make sure you have everything disabled since you only want a certain staff to have permission to access the controller. So under Management IP Address List, you can specify the IP address that will be allowed to access the controller WMI. So uncheck the IP segment 0.0.0, .0 since if you have this as active, all IP addresses will be allowed to access the WMI, which you don't want. So you can specify the IP address which will be allowed to access here in the second row. You can check your IP address here in the network connection details. Now enter that IP address in the list and then click apply. So now only the IP address that you've just specified can access the controller's WMI from the WAN side. So that's it for the staff configuration.